Hey, what's going on, Dodgers Nation? DMAC here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. Will Alex Bessia be a star next year for the Dodgers? More on that in just a second. But quick reminder for all the latest Dodgers news and rumors, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. It really helps out the channel. And as always, I want your takes down below in the comment section. Today's Dodgers Nation question of the day. Yes or no, will Alex Vesia be a star next year for the Dodgers, and will he make the all-star team? Let me know down below in the comment section. And for all the latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So continuing our Feel Good Friday series, today we're going to spotlight Alex Vesia. Alex Vesia really emerged as a star left-handed reliever for the Dodgers in the second half of last season. Of course, there was a lot of talk about Vesia after Andrew Friedman and the Dodgers. They traded for him. They trade away Dylan Floro for Alex Vesia and minor leaguer Kyle Hurd. And early on, it did not look so good for Alex Vesia. Didn't even make the opening day roster. If you look at his spring training numbers, he had 10 punch outs and five and two thirds innings of work. He posted a 476 ERA, an 1141 whip. And after his underwhelming spring, you had a lot of Dodger fans questioning the move to trade Dylan Floro for the unproven Vesia. And then when he got called up in early May, he really struggled out of the gates. In his first appearance with LA, he gave up four runs, had four walks, and just one inning of work in the Dodgers' extra innings loss to the Milwaukee Brewers. And if you look at his numbers for that month of May, in 10 games. He posted a 591 ERA, a 720 FIP, had 11 walks in 10 and two thirds innings of work, but he did have just a 114 opponent's batting average. So with him, it was about the command issues. He couldn't find the plate at times, but he did flash some electric stuff. He's got a lot of life on that heater, and you saw the potential in him, and the Dodgers, they did send him down to OKC, refine his mechanics a little bit. They worked on his control issues, and he shoved in AAA. He had 19 punch outs in just nine innings of work, had 15 strikeouts in a row at one point. And after he was called up by the Dodgers in July, he was practically lights out for the remainder of the season. He posted a .92 ERA, a .82 whip, had a 3.14 FIP, a 3.97 X FIP, a 3.14 Sierra, a 33.6 K percentage, which led the Dodgers in that stretch, a 9.7 walk percentage, and a 129 opponent's batting average. In his final 29 and a third innings of work, he appeared in 31 games. And then the postseason, he proved to be a weapon as well. He posted a 208 ERA in four and a third innings of work, had seven strikeouts and three walks, gave up just one run in seven appearances. You want to see that strikeout number go a little up like we saw in the regular season, but what a great start for his Dodger career. Still young, still getting better, and while he can't take advantage of the Dodgers elite pitching coaching this offseason right now due to the lockout, he's still putting in that work. He's throwing to high schoolers to get his work in. Here, check this out. So look, don't mess you with Vesia. I think next year he's going to break out even more. And it's not like he throws high gas. I mean, he's got a nice heater, 93.8 miles per hour, and he throws that at a 72.4% clip, that four-seamer. But it's the life it has on. It's the electricity. It's how it comes out of his hand. But we do see him feeling froggy at times when that adrenaline kicks in. You see him get it up to 96 miles per hour when it's well-placed, when he has that command, when it's pinpoint. It's absolutely lethal. And also throws that slider at a 17.5% clip, does use that changeup at a 10.1% rate. But I think that Vesey has a lot of momentum heading into the 2022 season. After the success that he had after getting called up, he got his feet wet there in the postseason. And he's also going to benefit from this elite Dodgers coaching staff whenever this lockout ends. And I think that he's going to establish himself as one of the better left-handed relievers in all of Major League Baseball. I think he's going to be the Dodgers' go-to left 
Lefty out of the pen once again this season. I know that we hope that Victor Gonzalez has a bounce back year. He didn't have the year that we thought he was going to have in 2021 after having a great 2020 season and coming through in the postseason. Well, if he can't get it back, well, I think Vesio will be just fine. You're going to see him in a lot of high leverage situations. I think he's going to turn into even more of a fan favorite, especially if Joe Kelly doesn't come back, Kenley doesn't come back. I think Alex Vesia is going to be that guy. Look, he's the only guy that wears pants that are tighter than Walker Bueller, and I think he's a guy that has that moxie to come through for the Dodgers in tight situations. But you love to see him out there working with high school baseball players. Look, sometimes the stuff is so filthy out there on the mound, he makes big league hitters look like they're high school players in the first place. So nice to see him out there giving back and more importantly, getting that work done. But hey, you can inspire the next generation. You love to see that. But let me know down below in the comment section, what are your expectations for Alex Vesia next season? Do you think he can be an all-star? Do you think he can establish himself as one of the better premier left-handed relievers in the game? Let me know down below. Also, do you like the trade Floro for Vesia? Do you think it'll pay off in the long run? Sound off down below in the comment section. My name is D Mac. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, all latest Dodgers news, rumors, high videos, podcasts, interviews, and so much more, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. Really helps out the channel. For all latest Dodgers Nation merch, head over to GearUp.LA. Some of the best Dodgers t-shirt designs in the game, you're going to find it right over there at www.GearUp.LA. For all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. And until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.